On this job, I had a, a beer aisle. It was the whole aisle that had froze up and it was not cooling. Hadn't been cooling for a while. Had to be cleaned and turned out to have a bad fan motor. But for the most part, just needed to be cleaned. Now, I always like to go into the motor room at the beginning. I like to see what the compressors are doing, what the rack's doing, and look at the controller to see what the case has been doing. Here we got focus in on S15. That's the beer aisle. We're at 68 degrees with a set point of 34. Here's a little bit more of a clear picture on the controller. And then this is the alarm screen with the only alarm. If you look closely, you can see that the alarm occurred on June 20th and today or that day was July 4th so it'd been over two weeks that the beer has been above 60 degrees all right so here I've got a beer case no precious more than it's just covered in ice ventilator for completely covered in ice on this section here so I've got my hose ran all the way to the meat department we've got the uh, hot water not in the meat department. I was gonna to go to the meat department, which is over there, but I changed my mind because I don't want the hose going across the place where people gotta push their carts if necessary. So we got back here in the hot deli. Hot water. There it goes. And I got hot water here. So Gonna need to the whole case. Once you get the ice off the top, you take the top off. I'm gonna shut all the motors down. And by the way, I also shut off the uh, liquid line solenoid valve up at the rack. So we can defrost all this. And of course, you want to make sure it's draining properly. So this is an example of years of neglect. Just look at how dirty this is. This is what happens when you don't take care of your equipment. What is? Refrigeration equipment. No, 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 no. So this one is going to be froze up because it's dirty. You can just look at these fan blades here, and then so yeah, just the condition of the fan blades, and then you can see just the layers of dirt, filth. This one's froze up because it's dirty. Lack of maintenance. All right then, so once you get all the ice kind of from the front, you gotta take the cover off the coil, get the entire coil, get all of that defrosted. So I got the whole thing defrosted. You can see there's no more ice. That literally took about three and a half hours. So don't assume that this uh, that you'll be done with one that's this big full of ice very quickly. Okay, fans are all back on. I got two of these buckets full of gunk junk out of this drain pan so fans are back on go turn the circuit back on all right so going into the motor room it's really loud you won't be able to hear me in there i'm sure so we're right here number 15 come up here look on the computer refrigeration Evaporator, so we're looking at the one we have to 15 is beer. Current 70 degrees. So I just now turned it back on. Probably got some more alarms for it. High temperature beer. 
and it's been going for a while. Hmm. All right, so now we're waiting on the unit to cool down. And so I've got a bad motor. This motor is uh, counterclockwise. I mean, this one is clockwise. Let's see, clockwise. And these right here, these blades, because that blade is just like these ones, they need to turn counterclockwise. So, changing up the motor for the proper one, and that's probably what led to it failing, is improper airflow. And so these are very simple. You just uh, held on with these three screws here. Once you get the screws in place, you will put a tie strap on the wire to keep it close to that, like so, just like that. Then you can set it down in place. So as you go in, looks like it's going to sit. So you get it like so, tie strap, and then uh, you set it in place. I'll sit just like that, and then you gotta run this this wire through this here hole. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's see. So we got the wire through there, and then I'm gonna strap the wire over here to this side also to keep it from moving around. And I actually routed the wire around behind the motor. Then we'll put our blade on it, wherever our blade went. Here it is. Put our blade on. screws in and then there's usually a little a little seal type thing to protect the wire that goes there like you see I've got one right here so mine's gone but if you happen to have one they're good to have you want to put it in there if you have it tighten up your screws This motor, when it turns, it should rotate counterclockwise, which in rotating counterclockwise, it will push air downward to join the other two fans in all three pushing air downward, which forces air through the coil all the way up and you feel it coming out over here, tops. So, here we go. And so, my motor was spinning the wrong direction. And I found, so these motors here, I just now realized by trying it, that they fit right inside. Like they fit, these are designed to just push right into there. Ain't that amazing? Ain't that something? You see what I'm saying? Ain't that cool? I did not know that that's what happened. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, so I got the fan motor that was turning the wrong direction. So I don't have another one that's the opposite direction on my truck. So I put this on here for now while I go get another motor so that this thing can start cooling down. And that's all the footage I had on, on this one. That's really funny. I was really uninformed. Thanks for watching and subscribe. I'll see you.